In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet a small applique flower. Hi, I'm Heather and this is Hooking Wench Crochet. And today I'm going to show you how to make this simple applique flower. Add this to a hat, a scarf, a sweater, a bag, really anything you want to just give a little more decoration to. And it's a very simple flower, so it's a great beginner applique project. You know, a lot of time beginners want to know how to give their projects a little more pop. And this is just one cute example of a way you can do it. Real simple. You can do it all in one color. If you do do that, I suggest uh, sewing on with like a button or something in the center so that's a little more decorative. But uh, I do it with two colors, so I don't have to do anything crazy. I just sew it on with these little tails I leave on the back without any more yapping. Let's get hooking. For this tutorial, you'll need two colors of worsted weight yarn. One for the center and one for your petals. You'll need a five millimeter crochet hook. And of course, at the end, you'll wanna sew in your ends, and cut your strings off. So you'll need your darning needle and scissors. We're going to start our flower with the magic circle. So, drape your yarn, wrap your yarn around, behind, back around to the X, flip over, wiggle your fingers, I don't want it too tight. Grab the second string, pull it forward, twist it, pinch and hold, get off your fingers, Chain one to secure. Now, if you struggle with the magic ring, which I did when I first started, like crazy struggled, <laughs> you can chain four and slip together to form a little circle. It won't close quite as tight doing it that way, but that is an alternative to the magic ring. So you have your magic ring, you're going to chain one more. And then you're going to do nine single crochets in the circle. So then including this chain you just made, you'll have 10 total stitches. So go through the hoop, grab your yarn, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Through the ring, grab your yarn, two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops. Got one, two, three, and nine. So including your chain, you have 10. And you just pull that tail to tighten. And you slip to the top of your chain. Suck it right through that V. Yarn over. Pull through. Pull through. Now, and you're done with your center color. So you can snip an end, set off. Bring in your petal color. Over and pull through. Tight. Now chain two. One, two. And you're going to want to do two double crochets in that same stitch where you just did your chain. So yarn over, go into that same stitch. 
the first stitch that you just slipped to. Never pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, in, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Now in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over like you're doing a double, go through your stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then the next, you're just going to slip over to the next stitch and then chain two again and do two double crochet. So yarn over, through, pull up, through two, through two. And you do it again all in one spot, all in that same space, and then a half double to the next. And then slip into your new one, and chain two, and two doubles into that same space. Yarn over, half double in the next, right through all three, slip into the next, and chain two, and two double crochets, And half double into the next and slip over chain two two double crochets Half double into the last and then you're just gonna do a little slip to the bottom right there in that same space that you just half doubled into and cut your string pull through now you have to to find that center tail, make sure that it's good and tight. Okay. So now you just have to sew your ends. So, for some reason, I thought I had this one pulled down tight enough that it wasn't showing before, but it is now. So I'm just going to pull this right through here. This purple end so it covers that up and put it inside in the center of these stitches so it's not visible going through the wrong colored section make sure your needle's not showing on either side you don't see metal so you know it's not going to be showing when it pulls through And then right through the right color. You can snip that one. Watch. There we go. Okay. In between the stitches won't be visible. 
crosses there where your color change happened and makes it just a little smoother. Right in between. That one. Now the center ones are different. We want to make sure that they're run through, they're tight, but we don't want to cut them off because you're going to use them to attach them to whatever you're attaching this applique to. I mean, if you want to do this all in one color instead of doing a color change and sew it on with a button or something decorative in the center, then you might use a needle and thread to attach, but otherwise you're going to want to keep these tails to attach. You're going to want to run the center one to secure it. Ah, Lacey Lala. What are you doing in here? Sorry, didn't shut the door tight enough. Dog just came in. <laughs> we hear her scuttling about, hearing sniffing. That's her. I don't think she'll get on camera, though. Okay. So it's just, you just want to run it enough that it's secure, so it's not going to keep loosening on you. Like, you saw how I had to keep pulling it tight. And then leave it dangle there. And this one, it's on the outside. You're going to want to secure it and get it towards the middle. Like, right here. So then you have those two sewing ends there to use when you attach it. You've got your flower with your five petals. So now you have your tiny little flower. Uh, next week I will be showing you how to make a basic beanie, which you can attach it to. I know, who wants to even be thinking about hats? It's July! but. Honestly, I like getting my winter projects done during the summer so they're ready to use when winter gets here and I'm not like rushing to get them done as soon as I start feeling the cold weather, you know? Weather turns like, oh, I can really use a scarf right now. Probably should have been started that three months ago. <laughs> you know, when you have your work schedule and you don't have time to work every day, projects that would take a retired person, you know, a week, take a busy person a month or two because you don't have as so much time to work on it. And rather than rushing myself, I do all my winter stuff in the summer. So when winter gets here, it's done, it's ready. And I'll do summer stuff in the winter. So when summer gets here, it's done and ready. You get the point. So I will be teaching a beanie next week. So practice your little flowers and get one you like ready to add to a beanie. And I will show you how to make that next week.